Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see this sum in isometric. We have front view and top view. If you see O left side 100, height 50, width 60. So we'll draw layout like that. After that, if you see in front view, there are three parts. In top view, there are more than three parts. So we'll start with front view and the part which is nearer to the observer. That is this L shape. See this. This is how much? 12. Then you go down. 50 minus 12 and then you go behind by 60, 60, 60. So this first part you can draw. And in that first part, this part is dark. So that I will draw dark. So we are done with this much. Then we can draw this dark. See this, over here we have a quarter circle. Radius 25. So we can take diameter 50 so rhombus we have to draw off side 50 we'll draw a parallel line like this then we'll draw longest diagonal then we'll take midpoint here also we'll take midpoint join to the opposite corner this is point one two this is M, M, this is 3 and 4. So from 1, we take 1 to M and we can draw R. Then we go down by 12. See this, the height is 12. So from 1, we go down by 12. This is 1 dash. Take this radius go down by 12 and again you draw arc after that we can draw this line dark this line also dark yeah after drawing this much then we can think about this part semicircle which is behind 20 behind and there is a circle also diameter 20 over here so we can complete that also first so i can draw center line like this i know midpoint m i can draw a line from there we'll get this center and from that point we can take 10 10 on each side and we can draw circle again we use four center method to draw circle We are doing the same method, drawing the longest diagonal. Then from that point, we can draw R. So, that, so this is point 1, 1 to M, we draw R. Same way 2 to M. Again, we draw from 3, 3 to M. And 4 to M. So this way we are done with circle. Now we need to see depth. Over here depth is 12 and the diameter is 20. So we'll be able to see the lower part. So what we need to do. See I'm just writing 1, 2, 3, 4. I've written 1 and 2. You go down by 12. You mark that point as 2 dash. Now you take radius 2 to M. And from 2 dash you cut. So you'll be able to see this much. After that. This part is done. Now we need to draw this part which is behind. How much it is behind? 20. So go behind by 20. Draw a line. Then you draw a vertical line. And a parallel line. This will be 44. That is, uh, that is the dimension which is given to us. So we will take 44. Then we'll go up by 30. Then 
then you take midpoint this is 44 so half of 44 is 22 and from that point you can take 12 12 12 12 to draw circle here also we have to draw semicircle so we, we will use four center method and we'll draw semicircle So you draw a parallel line, then you draw longest diagonal. You mark one point and join to the opposite midpoint. This is one, this is M. You take one to M and you can draw arc. And then take three to M and you can draw another arc. So we got semicircle. These two lines will be dark. Now we have to take this behind by how much? 40. So I'll take all the points behind by 40. Now we'll draw this line dark. And then we'll join this slope. If you see there is a slope of width 10. So we can take 10 from here. And we can join this. So this will be down. I'll draw a vertical line from here. Again we'll draw a line from here. Now we need to draw only circle part which is inside by 30. So we have to take this point 1 inside by 30. In fact all the points inside by 30, the respective point, this one. And we'll draw a line like this. Now I'll take point 1 inside by 30. And I will cut. So I will have one dash. And from that point I can draw circle. See this. I'll take one to M. This radius go on one dash and I will cut. So by this way we have completed this isometric. I hope you people have understood this. Thank you.